Welcome to Waldorf Music and thank you for choosing the Blofeld plugin. Many of you are certainly familiar with the basic functions of a synthesizer or already own a Blofeld hardware synthesizer. However, the preset browser, a powerful tool with many possibilities, is a new feature. Therefore, we would like to introduce you to the most important functions of the plugin in this video. The preset browser. The browser is based on a powerful database with extensive display and search functions. These can be found on the left-hand side in the search area. Here, you can select the available preset groups and, if required, link them to other search options, which are then displayed in the browser. Organizing in groups is particularly helpful if you want to manage imported sound sets or import banks from a connected Blofeld hardware synthesizer. This way, you always have an overview. Active search filters are also displayed in the field above the browser and can also be deactivated here with a click. The browser in the center therefore always shows the result that has been set in the search functions. On the right-hand side, under Options, you can create, rename and delete groups. You can also save your current search selection here, which is then displayed on the left-hand side under Saved Searches. As an example, we select the 2008 group and enter additional filters for author and tags. Save current search creates an entry in the left column. The entries can be deleted or renamed with the right mouse button. When you click on a preset in the browser, it is activated and loaded into the synth engine. In addition, information such as preset name, group, author and other tags are displayed on the right-hand side and can also be changed here. The preset name can be edited directly by double-clicking on it. The selection for group and author can be changed using the icons. If you enter a new name here by double-clicking, a new group or a new author is automatically created. Tags can also be added or newly created. All changes made here must be saved with Save at the top left of the plugin window. If the preset is right protected, such as the Factory Sounds 2008 and 2012, RO, Read Only, is displayed in the right hand column of the browser. This is why you are asked for a group to save the sound to when saving. Alternatively, you can save a copy of the preset in another group. I suggest that we save a search for the user group, which is now inserted in the Save Search list at the top left. Now we can call up the user group and find our copy here. Another helpful function is sorting via the browser columns. For example, when you click in the name field, the current view is sorted alphabetically in ascending order. Click again to sort in descending order. A third click cancels the selection. Sorting the date column makes it easier to find recently edited or imported presets. In the Options menu at the top right, you will find other important functions. Here you can create an init preset or delete a preset. Deleting presets also works in the browser with the right mouse button or with the backspace key on the computer. Copy and paste part is required for the multimode but more on this later. We have already discussed the group functions and save current search.
let us continue with import presets, for example to load a Blofeld sound set, and it is best to create the appropriate group beforehand. The desired sound bank is selected in the top field of the following dialog window. In our case, it is the Don Solaris Soundset Analog Voltage, which is available in the Waldorf shop. The compatible soundsets of the Blofeld hardware usually offer eight banks, A to H. They are required for the hardware to transfer the data to a specific bank. We can use any bank for the import into the Blofeld plugin. If there is a sample set for the sound set, the samples must also be loaded here as a WPC file. This is usually supplied with the sound set. No additional samples are required for the Don Solaris sound set. If you tick the read only box, then the presets are initially write protected after import. This can be very helpful to prevent the imported sound sets from being changed. Finally, you can select the group for the import that we have already created. Now we can find the imported presets in the appropriate group and can also create this selection again as a save search in the list. Now we load another sound set with samples and create the corresponding group and the appropriate search beforehand. We select options again, then import presets and select the corresponding sound set. In our case, it is the Alien Vanguard sound set. Now we select the appropriate WPC file. In this case, it is the wave set from HG Fortune, which contains 128 samples. Select the group and import. The import of a required WPC file for a sound set, which uses samples, is always necessary. If you load another sound set that requires the same samples, the WPC file must still be loaded again, as otherwise the internal link between the presets and the samples cannot be created. The patches have now been imported into the created group, and the templates with the samples from the WPC file can now also be found in the sample area. If you have ever worked with Spectre, a tool for importing samples into the Blofeld hardware, you are probably familiar with the term program. In Spectre it is called program, and in the Blofeld plugin it is called template. Templates which are displayed in the left-hand column can also contain several samples, for example to create multi-samples. The storage path to the sample folder can also be displayed with the right mouse button. You can also import a WPC file in the sample area. However, samples that are loaded here cannot be automatically linked to loaded presets. If you have loaded the appropriate WPC file with the sound set, as in our case, the samples used are now also displayed in the synth engine. Sample management also offers many other options, but we won't go into this in detail here. Let's stay with the browser for now. Import presets from BPZ can be used to load sound files that were created with a Blofeld plugin and exported by someone else, for example. Export selected preset exports the current patch. A selected group can be exported using the export preset in list function and can also contain samples. The plugin also comes with 20 new presets from the sound designer Synth New York City, 
which we will now load. They can be found in the Blofeld preset folder after installation either as individual presets or as a bank file containing all 20 sounds. On macOS, you will find the Blofeld preset folder in the library. On Windows, you will find the preset folder under Program Data. Because the group information is already contained in a BPZ file, the corresponding group is automatically created during the import, and we can now also find the imported presets here. You should be very careful with the factory reset database option, as it resets the sound browser to the delivery status. However, this automatically creates a backup of the existing database, which can be reactivated if necessary. A major advantage of the plugin is the control of a connected Blofeld hardware synthesizer. The dialog box for this can be found at the top right of the plugin menu. If a Blofeld keyboard or desktop is connected, the device can be selected here. In addition to various options for controlling the hardware, there are also various import settings for sounds. You can either import all sounds, only the currently selected one, or individual banks from the hardware, which are organized in groups from A to H. As an example, we will import Bank H from the hardware Blofeld and create a suitable group beforehand. An important note at this point. Samples from the hardware cannot be transferred to the plugin. As with the hardware, the plugin also has a multi mode in which up to 16 parts can be active. These are certainly not absolutely necessary in a DAW, as several plugin instances can be opened simultaneously. However, the use of key and velocity zones per part makes it possible to create interesting multi layer sounds. As an example, let's create an init preset, which we save in the user bank. By clicking on the date column, the last edited preset is displayed if required, and we can now also change the name. There is no separate memory area for multis, as in the Blofeld hardware for example. As soon as you activate and save the multi mode in a preset, the status changes from single to multi. The multi parts used are now displayed in groups of four in the tags on the right hand side of the window. However, no presets are loaded yet. To do this, we go back to Multi, activate the number of parts required, and set the desired MIDI channel. To assign presets to the parts, we use the right mouse button in the browser. It is important that we do not click on the sound, otherwise, our Multi will no longer be selected. In our example, we take the patch Squelch Bass from the factory sound set 2012 and assign the same preset to parts 1 through 4. If we now use the transpose function and set different intervals, we can quickly create a stab sound. Now we save the whole setup and have a multi with four layers.
the Blofeld plugin is an extensive and powerful sound tool, so there is certainly still a lot to show you. However, we hope that this video has given you a good overview of the most important functions and how to manage your sounds. We will discuss other areas and functions in further videos. We thank you for your attention and wish you lots of fun. Your Waldorf team.